In this video, I want to look at working with feature definitions in the Civil Geometry tools. To look at this, we're going to go to File, Item Browser, and bring up the Item Browser as, long as, as well as its Detail pane here. And I'm going to go under Content Management and look at these feature definitions that I brought in from my XIN, from En-ROADS. If I click on one of the feature definitions here, I can see um, some controls here that are going to control how my data is placed. The first one I want to look at is the name prefix. And I'm going to tell it that when I use this style, give it a name prefix of centerline. So for example, when I go and create a line between points and I choose that feature definition, it automatically populates my name prefix with the value that I entered over there. So when I create my actual line out in graphics, I can go back in the item browser to the geometry, look at my linear elements, I can see I have a line named centerline. If I bring up the inroads dialog real quick, I can see that I don't have any geometry created right now. And that's because if we go back and look at content management for that feature style, we have auto persist set to false. If we change auto persist to true, and now go back and create a feature using that same feature definition, place our line, reset, go back to inroads, we'll see that a centerline underscore one has been created actually in the inroads ALG file in memory. So auto persist then controls whether the geometry is being created automatically in inroads or if it's just being created in microstation. We can have auto annotate also turned on here in the feature definition. And if I set that to true, next time I go to create a line uh, out in microstation, we can see the annotation from that feature style. Um, it's reading directly from the XIN uh, there is, is being annotated on the line.